All praises to the Most High, so as you should prove all things which you speak about. Um, those who don't keep the Sabbath don't want salvation because the Sabbath is the day of rest. And in keeping the Sabbath, you're spending time in God's rest. You're relying on Him. You're showing Him you love Him. You're drawing close to Him so He can draw close to you. And it's preparing you for His eternity rest that your, your mission for salvation is trying to attain to. Your mission for salvation is trying to attain into God's rest. So let's prove this. On the seventh day, Genesis 2 and 2, on the seventh day, God ended his work, which he had made, and he rested on the seventh day from all his work, which he had made. And God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it, because that in it he had rested from all his work, which he had created and made. Okay? That is what God did. Now, I want to go here. Isaiah chapter 28 and 12. To whom he said, This is the rest wherewith ye may rest. Ye may cause the weary to rest. And this is the refreshing, yet they would not hear. Hebrews 9, 4 and 9. There remains, therefore, a rest to the people of God. You're trying to enter into God's rest. And there's people who won't be entering into God's rest because they never spent time with him on his day of rest. They showed God. They never showed God they love him. Or they regard, regard him, appreciate him, are thankful for him, admire him, honor him, praise him, rejoice in him, delight in him. Because they don't spend time with him. They're not being in his presence. To get in his kingdom. Now, let's furthermore prove this. With God's word. That he has a rest. And he has a rest that people are not going in. And even in Exodus, it was punishable by death. Exodus 23 and 12. Six days thou shalt do thy work. And on the seventh day thou shalt rest. That thy ox and thy ass may rest and the son of thy handmaid, and the stranger may be refreshed. But this was something that's supposed to be done. This was before the children of Israel. That was something from the beginning, from Genesis. Now Hebrews 4, to, to, about God's rest, his Sabbath day. Hebrews 4 and 3. For we which have believed do enter into rest, as he said, as I have sworn in my wrath, if they shall enter into my rest, although the works were finished from the foundation of the world. Now, I'm going to continue. Give me one. I'm going down because there's another scripture I need to carry out for you. I'm going to read this again, though. Hebrews 4 and 9, just to let this sink in. There remains therefore a rest to the people of God. Hebrews 4 and 5. And in this place again, if they shall enter into my rest. Now, this is people who is not entering into God's rest. Psalms 95 and 11. Unto whom I swear in my wrath that they should not enter into my rest. Now, Psalms 1, 16 and 7, return unto thy rest, O my soul. Where do you get rest for your souls? In God, when you're in his secret place, when you're spending time with him, when you're fasting, when you're keeping the Sabbath. For the Lord has dealt bountifully with thee. That is when God deals bountifully with thee, when you rest in the Lord. Rest in the Lord and be of good courage. Now, Hebrews 4 and 11. Let us labor, therefore, to enter into that rest, lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief. Do you get it? You were trying to get into God's rest. And look what Christ says. Now, this is Matthew 11 and 29. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. For I am meek and lowly in heart, and you shall find rest unto your souls. So we're trying to go into the rest. For my yoke 
is easy and my burden is light. Now on my scripture, one second. Give me. No, 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 so sorry. This is my rest forever. Here will I dwell, for I've desired it. That's talking about Zion. For the Lord has chosen Zion. He has desired it for his habitation. This is my rest forever. Here will I dwell, for I've desired it. You got to pray to God. You have to fast and you have to spend time in the secret place. Now let me go to Ezekiel 20 and 19 to show you that the Sabbath is a sign between you and God. And when you keep it, that's when God manifests all these good things in your life and you'll see it. Now let's start. I am the Lord your God. Walk in my statues. He gave you a covenant. He gave you a commandment. And keep my judgments and do them. And hollow my sabbaths, and they shall be a sign between me and you, that you may know that I am the Lord your God. And I'll leave that there.